Hello YouTubers, uh, this is my Teak AL700P amplifier, uh, modified by me. Uh, three modifications. First one, the variable potentiometer riser board, normally here, uh, has gone. Didn't do anything useful, it just got in the way of the signal path and degraded the signal a little bit. Did I notice an improvement when I took it out? Um, not really, but it being in there doesn't help, so it might as well go. Second thing, um, there's two amplifier boards here, each of two channels. This is originally a surround sound amplifier with four channels and Teak deactivated one of the channels at the um, factory. So you've only got three channels. The single channel on this one here, um, where the empty space is, um, just draws current from the power supply here. Doesn't do anything useful, so that can go. With that gone, the power supply has a slightly easier time of it. Um, it's only supplying power to one amplifier board, two channels, rather than two amplifier boards, three channels, four channels if you include the one that's not being used. So this power supply, it being slightly underrated, has a much easier time of it just supplying power to this one board. So that was the second modification. The third one is these capacitors here, um, these input capacitors. These caps are Russian paper and oil capacitors. Uh, very good ones. Um, I think they're probably the highest you can get. They're, they're meant to be premium Russian capacitors. K75s, um, dielectric capacitors. They're a combination of, oh, let me read my notes here, uh, 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 paper and lavsum in oil. There you go, figure. Um, anyway, very good capacitors, paper and oil, exotic, high-end, and they do really uh, help the bass. Um, speaking of which, let's have some music and you'll be able to hear for yourself how good the bass is. Okay, um, a track selected. Um, to get around YouTube's tiresome copyright policy, uh, I've chosen some classical music. Uh, people seem to have more success in having classical music um, not be um, censored or blanked out by YouTube, so we'll give that a go. Uh, second thing to keep in mind is the uh, music you're going to hear will be obviously from your speakers, so you can't hear the quality of this amplifier. The best we can do is to have me change the treble controls on this, so you'll hear a presence of bass, no presence of bass. You won't hear the quality of the bass, you just know if it's there or not. This should prove that um, these Teak amplifiers can do bass, particularly with the upgrade that I performed. Okay, let's go. base.